Hello and welcome to the Evergreen Cultural Center's online performing arts workshop. Today we're working on our kids combo class and we're on session three of a three-part series. My name is Mandy Tullock and I'm the performing arts instructor here at the Evergreen for the sessions you're about to see. Now we work a lot in our class and the one thing we do is our warm-ups before we start. So you guys go ahead and do your warm-ups. You can go to session one, I believe there's a link right there if you haven't done them already and come back when you're all warmed up and we'll get together and we're gonna be doing some <laughs> exercises and games that the whole family can do together. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay everyone, let's do the mirror exercise. Hi. Okay, this is a game called Mirror. So what we have is everybody needs to go find a partner. Go find somebody that you can work with. McKenna's gonna be my partner. Hi, McKenna. Everybody say hi to McKenna. Hi. No, 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 louder, I didn't hear you guys. Yeah, that's better. Okay, hi back. Hugs, there's our hugs. We do our virtual hugs and hug. There we go. So let's do Mirror. So you face each other. And a good way to tell if you're standing apart at the right distance is we're gonna put our hand to our shoulder. This is a good distance. I'm gonna be the leader and McKenna's gonna follow me. So we put our hands up and look how McKenna does the same thing as I'm doing. And then my other hand's coming up. Same thing as we go, oh no, something else is happening and we are mirroring each other. Okay, I'm gonna have a go at copying McKenna. Go ahead, McKenna. We're not going too fast. Now a way you can do this with the whole family, if you have more than two of you that are in your house, get everybody to stand in a circle and one person does it and you all follow. So that's Mira. One word sentence. So now we're gonna do a little game called one word sentence. So you need two people for this. So go find somebody, go on, go grab them, brother, sister, now the dog, what, no, put the dog <laughs> back. The dog won't work for this one. Okay, good, we've got two people now. So McKenna has no idea what I'm gonna say and I have no idea what McKenna's gonna say, but we have to make a sentence. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect sentence. You know what? It doesn't even have to be grammatically correct. We're just gonna do it so it makes sense. Okay, you ready? Here's how it goes. One time a bug Eight. A. Dog. Okay, that's crazy. That would have to be like a really big bug. Okay, let's do another one. I like that. Okay. Uh, there. Once. Was. A. Tree. That. Liked. Apples. It. Grew. Really. Big. Because. Of. All. The. Apples. Falling. Down. Crazy! Wouldn't it get smaller if all the apples fell? Well, maybe it was just growing so much that all the apples fell down. All right, so now we've got another one and we're gonna make it grow. So now we're gonna do a story with sentences. So instead of just doing the one word, we're gonna take a whole sentence. So each person gets a whole sentence. The story has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end and it has to make some kind of crazy sense. Okay, so here we go. Again, McKenna has no idea what I'm gonna say and I have no idea what McKenna's gonna say. I'll start. Um, it was a dark and stormy night in the old forest. And you could hear all of the little creatures making their sounds through the night. A tiny little bug was so scared of all the sounds, it hid under a rock. But it turned out to be a firefly and glowed. 
it amazed all the other creatures in the forest because it glowed and glowed and they thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. And all of a sudden, it wasn't scared anymore. There you go, there's a story. I can tell you now that that story has never been written anywhere in the world. We created it right here, just like you can in your home. What is it and where did I find it? So our next exercise, we're gonna do what is it and where did I find it? So what I want you to do right now is go around the house and find two items, two different things. They can be absolutely anything that you wanna use. It can be a cushion, um, it can be a cup, it could be a pen, and go ask if you can use it and bring it back. Okay, so I've got my two items while you're getting yours. Okay, you ready? Okay, good. So sit down and I'm going to go first. So this is my item. And in reality, it's a drum. But in this game, the only thing that this cannot be is a drum. It has to be something entirely different. So you have to make up a story about your object and tell us where you found it. So I'll go first. Uh, once upon a time in a land far, far away, I flew out on a magical bird. And as I was flying, I saw something on the cloud in front of me. And I reached out and I got the biggest chocolate bar I have ever seen in my life. Um. Mm. Okay, so that's my item. Let's see what McKenna can do. All right, so this is my item. It is a big rainbow ball, so it can't be a big rainbow ball. Okay, so I was walking in the streets and I noticed that there was a really big castle in front of me, so I had to go into the castle. And as I was going up to the castle, I walked all the way to the top of the tower and this was right on top of a shelf and it was a really big diamond. So I had to hold the diamond. Wow, now that would be a big diamond. Okay, so we've used these art, but wait. Now I want you to move your item to somebody else. So give your item that you've used to somebody else. And now they have to come up with something, but it can't be what it is and it can't be what you said. It has to be something different. So let's see what McKenna does with my drum. You ready, McKenna? Yeah. All right, so I was gardening one day, so I decided to plant some flowers and I was digging up some flowers and I saw this tiny little ladybug. So I went and I picked up the ladybug and I thought it was very pretty. So I tried to hold it, but it blew away. <laughs> Does that look anything like a ladybug? No, way to go, that was good. All right, so now I've got to try something with your ball. Okay, so as we know, it's a, a ball, so it can't be a ball. So here we go. Um, a long time ago, I was walking down the path of a magical forest and I stepped on a twig that cracked and I looked down and picked up this cracked twig and from the very center flew a beautiful butterfly up into the air and off it went. And you know what I did? Okay, does this look like a butterfly? Not at all. And you can do the same thing with, with that kind of thing as we did with the other one word sentences and one, one sentence story, where you can write it down, the stories that you make up from your objects. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Driving a car. Huh? Okay, what we're gonna play now is a game called, What Are You Doing? So the idea of that is you could see that McKenna was washing her face. And I walked on and I turned to face the audience. And I said, what are you doing? You notice I didn't turn this way. If I turned in to face McKenna, my sound wave would go here. I want it to come out to my audience. So you make sure you turn and send out, what are you doing? McKenna replies, driving a car. Hmm, does that look like she's driving a car? No. So your reply is something completely different from what you're actually saying. So now McKenna walks off and I'll do mine. Hmm, so McKenna said she was driving a car. What does driving a car look like? Hey, 
I'm driving. What are you doing? Uh, I'm walking the dog. Now McKenna is doing her version of walking the dog. I'm gonna come on. What are you doing? Jumping jacks. Huh? Okay. So. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm brushing my teeth. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Gardening. Huh? Okay. What are you doing? I am washing the car. What are you doing? My chemistry homework. Ha! Okay, so we'll end it there. So you get the idea, so go off and play what are you doing all by yourselves. See you in a minute. Where am I? So now we're gonna do another game that is using our physical body. We are going to be telling you where we are without speaking. So we need a very simple type of movement. So I might start with um, this kind of a movement. And McKenna will walk in. When she thinks she knows where I am, she'll join in doing exactly the same movement. Now, she doesn't know for sure where I am, but she's guessing and she's doing exactly the same movement as me. Whatever I'm doing, do exactly the same movement and stop. So then I'd say, McKenna, where am I? Fishing. I was fishing, she got it right. So McKenna guessed I was fishing by my movements. Okay, McKenna, you do one. So I'm gonna have to watch McKenna and see what she does. So here she goes. Hmm. I think I know where she is. So I'm gonna get and do exactly the same movements as what McKenna's doing. Hmm. Okay. What, where am I? I think you're gardening. You're right. Yes, I got it. Oh, right. so I've got one. Mine, I'm next. Okay, so again, McKenna's gonna have to watch me and she's gonna have to guess where I am. Here I go and... And now McKenna does the same moves as me. Okay, McKenna, where am I? You're swimming. I'm swimming. Although, okay, I'm doing backstroke now. <laughs> there we go. All right. And last one, McKenna, you go, and I will try and figure out where you are. Mm. So I have no idea. And, oh, okay, I think I know where she is. Okay, so remember, I have to do the same move, so I'm gonna get down like this. Um, she's got one foot this way and her arm is over this way. Oh. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? I think she's sunbathing. Yeah, she's right. Yes, I got it. A frozen tableau. That's a moment in time that is frozen. I'm gonna call out to McKenna some words and she has to interpret those words with her body only. So no voice, no sound. So I might say, sunshine. Okay, now here's the thing. McKenna can never be wrong because this is McKenna's interpretation of the word. So you can't say that doesn't look like sunshine because to McKenna it does. How about a uh, bear? Uh, rock. A uh, river. Uh, oh, here's a good one. A diamond. How can you look like a diamond? Ah, really good. So what you can do is you line everybody up 
and you ask them to take one of the words. So if you have three people, you're gonna use three words. If you have five people, you're gonna use five words. And you're gonna give everybody five seconds to get into their picture. So if there's more than one person, so McKenna and I will work together to show you. So we're gonna do two words. So um, maybe we will do sunshine and river. So McKenna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be the sunshine. I'm gonna be the river. Okay, and we've got five seconds. How can we make that a picture? Okay, you get in front of me. So you can talk during this because you're working together as a group and and you shout, freeze. So thank you very much for spending time with us. We're at the end of our third session. So a big virtual hug out to you guys. Miss you very much. Stay safe, wash your hands, and hopefully we'll be together soon. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>